Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be trying some new makeup. I just did a big haul that included things that I got during the Sephora VIB sale, some things that I ordered from elsewhere, some things that I got in PR. So this is gonna be a bit of a mashup of that haul. We're gonna be trying the Say Slip Tint. I'm still not exactly sure if that's how you pronounce this brand, but I'm gonna go with it. Say Slip Tint, I have it in the shade three. So we're gonna be trying that as a base product. I also have the Patrick Ta Blush Palette. So we're gonna be using that for blush. And I was debating between the Byredo Quint and the Silver Coal Liner that I have and the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 3 palette, but that palette seems to be sold out everywhere, everywhere that I've checked. So I figured, why don't I talk about something that's, that's not sold out? Um, and that's the Byredo. So we're gonna play with this. I think I'm gonna have to pair another palette with this because it's all very, very dark. But anyway, we're gonna be featuring this. And then I'm gonna be applying, the two products are in the Westman Atelier gift box, the highlight and the lip suede in Bordeaux. So I'm really, really excited to try both of these products out as well. All right, so let's start with the Say Slip Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 35 sunscreen tinted moisturizer. The sunscreen in here is 15% zinc oxide, so it is all mineral sunscreen. And here is the packaging. It's one of those tubes with a pump at the other end. And I'm fairly certain this is one fluid ounce. Oh, actually this is more. This is 40 mils, 1.35 fluid ounces. I'm not sure if I have to shake this up, but I always feel safer shaking up liquid products. And I'm just looking on the box here to see if there are any recommendations for application. Fingers, brush, sponge, it actually does not say. So this is a tinted moisturizer. So I'm gonna go with either my fingers or brush. I feel like a sponge always absorbs a little bit too much of the uh, lighter weight, kind of thinner products. So I'm gonna pump some out onto the back of my hand here. Nice and creamy, that is shade three. And I'm gonna go with a brush because that is my favorite application tool. I'm gonna to use this Vapor Beauty foundation brush. I've really been enjoying this. I used this in the products not found at Sephora <laughs> video that I did. Um, and it's really nice, I've been using it ever since. So just gonna pick up a little bit and apply. Oh yeah. We've got a light coverage to be expected with a tinted moisturizer. So this shade, I think even if it was maybe a little bit too dark or a little bit too light is fine because it is so light in coverage. Very nice. Already I see a nice radiance and I'm just gonna apply it to the right half of my face here so we can get uh, a sense of the coverage. We can compare it to the non-foundation side. All right, I used about half of what was on my hand and I pumped out two pumps. So basically I've got one pump on this side of my face. And I would say the coverage is like a light, light medium. It's not quite as light as, I'm trying to think, I have some really light coverage foundations like the YSL New, that bare tint I believe is lighter than this. The Chanel Water Fresh tint, that is lighter than this. This is a little bit more than that. So I would say a light medium. It's very nice, it makes my skin look really smooth, smooth and creamy, and it is quite radiant. You can see the shine kind of coming off of my nose, my cheeks, and then this is without. So I have a little bit um, because I do have SPF down, but this definitely added to the radiance. I don't mind, I have very dry skin, so for me it works. All right, I'm gonna apply the rest of this to the rest of my face. Okay, wow, this looks, this looks really lovely. I have heard very good things about this slip tint tinted moisturizer, so I'm not really surprised, but this looks very nice. In fact, my, my friend here, my very good friend here in Vegas and on YouTube, Risa, Risa does makeup, I believe she really enjoys this tinted moisturizer as well, and she has um, an oilier skin type than I do. So as a reference point, I think if you have not quite as dry skin as I do, this would probably work out for you as well. Really lovely. I feel like this has, like I said, like a light medium coverage, but it's really quite complexion perfecting. I really feel like it's just making my skin look really, really smooth without the extra like pigmentation and extra coverage. Oh, so nice. Okay, well that is the Say Slip Tint Tinted Moisturizer 
really, really pretty. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some powder. As you guys know, I've been really enjoying the LYS Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. So I have it in the shade Resilience, and I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit. Okay, that took the shine down. Very nice, I love that powder. It's so good, it's so fine, it's so minimal, but it, it does the job. Okay, now let's move on to the Patrick Ta blush palette. How exciting. All right, so this is the palette that, well, everyone's been talking about, uh, but it's got the three shades. So I just went online to make sure I was going to apply this properly uh, by putting the powder down and then the cream on top. And I noticed that this is out of stock as well. I thought it was out of stock and then it was back in stock. I think it happened like a few times. So I thought it was like, all right, they got their the bulk of the shipment and now it's in stock. Well, it's out of stock again. So I do have backup blush that I wanna use and I believe these are in stock. These are the Tom Ford um, blush duos. I have the two shades that I didn't have, which is a flame and brazen rose. And I've been really tempted by both shades because they're so beautiful. And as you guys know, I love, love, love this formula. So that was just a flame and this is brazen rose. I think I'm gonna go with brazen rose as much as a flame tempts me because I'm gonna end up doing such a dramatic eye look <laughs> with that Byredo really, really dark smoky palette. I think a more of a neutral, lighter cheek. Well, we'll see. Let me go ahead and apply this. I'm talking like I don't really love a bold cheek all the time. So anyway, let's uh, just go ahead and apply this and then see what happens after I put the eyeshadow on. If I feel like I look washed out elsewhere, I'll go in with the Aflame. So I've got my Surat cheek brush. I am just gonna go between the two sides. I'm not gonna favor one over the other. And it's so finely milled. You pick up a lot of product. So I'm gonna tap some off and then just apply to my cheeks. I really love the way this blush applies. And if you just give it just a couple seconds after brushing it on, it's almost, I feel like it's almost like I can see it melt with my skin. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. And the shade is really quite lovely. I wasn't sure how pigmented it was gonna show up on my cheeks because it looks fairly pale uh, in the pan, but I think it does a really nice job. I mean, I'm fairly pale, so <laughs> it does a really nice job showing up on my cheeks. I'm gonna do the same to the other side here, look at that. Do you see that like whisper application? It just looks so cloud-like and just this light diffusion on the cheeks. <clears throat> love, love this formula, I've gone on and on about it. So uh, let me move on, but that is Brazen Rose from Tom Ford, mm, beautiful. All right, let's move on to highlight, and I wanna try the new Westman Atelier Lit Up Highlight Stick. So it's this one from her gift box. It has the highlight stick and the lip suede. So let me pull out the highlight stick, and this is a cream product. I um, also swatched this for you during my haul video, but it's a really lovely, like light gold champagne kind of highlight versus the nectar shade, which is probably my favorite currently. Well, we'll see once I start using this, uh, but probably my favorite lit up stick of hers. It has like a little bit of a peachy base to it. So this is a little bit more champagne gold. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingers and just tap. So pretty. This gives you that kind of like sweaty, glowy kind of highlight versus that really kind of like metallic smooth wet glass-like. This is just a little bit more, well, it's a lot a bit more <laughs> subtle than that. And so I just feel like it looks like, yeah, like a healthy kind of glow. Down my nose a bit. All right, there is the Lit Up Highlight Stick. I can already hear your comments. So many of you are gonna be like, that's a grown-up highlighter. <laughs> that's a highlighter that adults can use. Uh, yeah, because it's just got a really lovely glow and sheen, but it's not too like hyper, hyper metallic. Mm, gorgeous. Okay, so that is the Lit Up Highlight Stick. What is the shade name again? Parla. So again, it's, um, I don't know if it's limited edition, uh, but currently it's exclusive to this particular gift box. So that is 
the Parla shade. Eyebrows, I don't have any, oh no, that's a lie. I do have a new eyebrow product. It is the Iris and Romeo Brow Up Brow Gel. And I actually put this on in my haul video because I didn't have any brow product on at the time. And it was quite lovely. Here is the spoolie, teeny tiny. The uh, actual hairs of the spoolie are, are, I guess, kind of fluffy. When I think of a teeny tiny spoolie, I think of like, you know, the Charlotte Tilbury one where the spoolie itself is super tiny as well. Um, this one actually has some hairs to it. So um, I have it in the shade brown black and there are two other shades. This is the deepest one and there are two, there are two other shades. All right. Wow, you got some pretty bold brows. Look at that. <laughs> With, without. I want to say this is even more pigmented than the Tom Ford fiber brow gel. I don't believe it has fibers in it, um, but it definitely beefs up your brows quite a bit, but I think it does it more with actual pigmentation um, and like the texture of the gel versus like the fibers in the Tom Ford fiber brow gel. And this is definitely much more heavily pigmented than the Persona Swipe Up brow gel that I've been loving. So this is if I want uh, definitely something a little bit more bold, I think. Ooh, I'm trying to clean it up and I'm making it worse. Okay, there are my brows. So this Iris and Romeo Brow Up, I would say definitely like wipe off your spoolie uh, before going in. I feel like I had a little bit too much product on the brush. I did that for this brow and I feel like this one looks a little bit better than this one. This one is a little bit, uh, well, it's deeper. So if that's what you like, um, then, maybe, <laughs> then maybe leave some of the product on the spoolie, but I don't know, I like to take it slow with my brows and kind of build it up just in case. Um, but I felt like this one was a little bit messier on this side, but I really do like this brow, how this one turned out. So anyway, that is the Iris and Romeo Brow Up. Um, let's move on to the Byredo eyeshadow. So it does come in its own little canvas pouch and this has a different lid. Usually the lids for the quince for Byredo are gold. This one's like this gorgeous gunmetal. And here are the five shades in there. Aren't they incredible? So here are some swatches of this quint. First we have Gothic or Gothic, Wrath, Mysteries, Eternité, and Whisper. So Whisper is this pressed glitter shade. I think I'm gonna stay away from this because that's just not my jam. And it's so messy, <laughs> it's so messy. It's a commitment. You have to be okay with the idea that you're gonna have glitter pretty much all over your face for like a couple days, no matter how many times you wash it. So I think I'm just gonna stick to these four shades over here and then maybe supplement with uh, another palette. Um, but I did also purchase the Crayon Kajal, comes in this box, and I did get the shade Silver. And so I guess I'll use this after I apply the shadow. I'm hoping the silver will show up over black shadow. But we'll see. So since I have it out here, I have the Natasha Denona Glam Face and Eye Palette. I'm gonna use some of the shadows in here, like these transition shades to work uh, with this like all black quint. So I'm gonna go into this transition shade here. It's just a matte peachy neutral shade. And just gonna apply some to like my crease area here. It's like my socket line. And then to the outer corner area. All right, I'm gonna grab my Isom S33 brush and I'm gonna go into the center shade which has a little bit of a green tone to it. That is the Mysteries shade. Sorry, my pronunciation sucks. And I'm gonna start at my lash line and build up a little bit. Okay, you can definitely see like the little bit of a greenish tone in there, greenish bluish tone in there. I was afraid, you know, once you got all of these on your eyes, they may end up looking all the same, but so far this one really is quite pretty. It has like an evergreen kind of green tone to it. Okay, so first color is applied. Uh, I'm just gonna use the same brush. I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit. And I'm gonna go into this this black shade <laughs> called Eternité. <laughs> um, but this one is a little bit cooler. It has more of like a blue shift to it. 
And I'm gonna add this over, not over, like on top of the green. And again, see if we can even see like a difference with these shades. So I'm adding a little bit more to the outer corner here and then dragging it over on top of the green. Ooh, yeah, this has like a, like a peacock blue kind of tone to it. The difference is very, very subtle, very subtle. I think it's uh, one of those things that even if you were inspecting me, you wouldn't be able to tell. You know what I'm loving? I'm not experiencing any fallout. And fallout from Black Shadow is, it's so hard. It's so hard to get rid of. Sometimes I just leave it there because I feel like if I try and remove it, I just end up with these like black smudges all over my face, but no fallout, which is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna see if this is gonna make a difference at all, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my finger <laughs> into this second one, which is basically like a matte black with micro glitters in there. It's not a press glitter like this. It's just one of those shadows with the glitters in there. This one's called Wrath. And I'm gonna press this on just to see if those micro glitters appear. Not, not really. I think these two shadows, the two that I just used, are glittery enough on their own. Yeah, that's not really doing much. I'm gonna use my Sonia G Soft Definer brush. I'm gonna go into this matte black and I'm gonna line my eyes with it. This is just plain matte black. Okay, I think I'm okay with just this for the eyeshadow, um, but I ended up using this matte shade and then these two shades. So I didn't really use this one or the pressed glitter, but I love these two shades. These two over here, the green and then the blue. So, so pretty, such a nice play on black, you know? Okay, now we've got the silver eyeliner from Byredo, and this is so cool. It's like a chubby pencil here. I'm gonna line my eyes. I'm really hoping that it shows up on top of the black shadow. Oh yeah, really cool. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I ended up with a little bit of fallout here. That's probably from the matte black, but I was able to scrape it off. So I'm adding quite a bit of this silver liner, a really th nice thick line, because I think that looks really cool. And then I'm going to tight line with it. Neat. Oh, I really like that. Do the same thing over here. All right, well, definitely not an everyday look for me. That is for sure. And I feel like I need to blend out this black a little bit more. I'm gonna go back to the A503 brush from BK Beauty, the large blender, and blend this all out. A very different look for me, but I don't mind it. Okay, let me curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. I don't have any new mascara, so let me just do that off camera and I'll be back to apply the Westman Atelier Lip Suede. Okay, so eyes are done. Um, here is the Westman Atelier Lip Suede in Bordeaux. I've already gotten it so dirty. So that is the packaging. Here are the four shades on the inside. So I, of course, because I have such a heavy eye look, I wanna use the nudes, probably a mixture between this second one and this fourth one. Uh, but here are some swatches from top to bottom. Um, and you can see that the top shade, that red shade is like such a perfect holiday shade. It's slightly cool toned. And then that third shade is like a plummy shade, which is, oh, it's so beautiful. That is also an option. I don't know how, how evening of a look I wanna go. I think the only thing I have to do today is go grocery shopping which is gonna be pretty funny. I think I'll probably just, well, I'll have my mask on so they won't see my lips, but I'll probably throw some sunglasses on because this is a lot. This is a lot of fever for grocery shopping. Anyway, um, yeah, let me do the nude. I'm just gonna throw this one shade on and see how that looks alone. Okay, so there is just the nude shade, very nude, very nude. We're kind of in concealer lip territory. Uh, which again, I think is great with like a dark smoky eye, really like a nude lip with that. But I'm gonna add, just for just for fun, I'm gonna add this bottom shade in. 
which is like a cool toned mauve shade. Just tap it right on top. Ooh, I like that. I like that. We're still nude, but we've come out of like concealer lip territory. <laughs> so this is these two shades. Uh, kind of not mixed together, but applied one on top of the other. All right, well, those are all of the products that I wanted to try on for you guys today. I am just gonna take a quick look here at how this Say Slip Tint, Tinted Moisturizer, is doing. The, uh, the Slip Tint is holding up really, really nicely. So far, I'm very, very impressed. I love the way it applied. I love the way it looks on my skin. I love the coverage, as you guys know. I'm a light medium fan. And I've been sitting here for probably over an hour and under some pretty hot lights, and it's looking really good. Yeah, everything is really impressive. God, I love these Tom Ford blushes. Gorgeous, the highlight is great. This um, lip suede is amazing. These eyeshadows are just so cool. Like if you're into a smoky look, man, oh man, you cannot go wrong with this Byredo Quint. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, well, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.